Hey, what's up? I'm Liz. This is Blitzy DIY. I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my Citrus Circuits video because I just filmed it a couple minutes ago. In this video, I'm going to talk about a project that I'm in the middle of working on. And if you follow me on social media, you've seen me post a couple of like things about it so far. And I can tell that by the end of the project, some of the stuff that I'm working on right now might get a little bit lost in the weeds or not make it. So I wanted to do kind of a, a video to document what I've done so far. So basically I had this idea a while ago when Adafruit launched their Cricut board, which allows you to control motors really easily with, um, they have one for the circuit playground, which you see right here. They have one for the feather. They have one for Raspberry Pi. Um, I want to say there's another one, but I can't remember it right now. Or maybe I'm making it up. Who knows? But I thought it'd be cool um, to make a robot, like just a simple chassis robot like you see here, that's controlled uh, with IR, um, so infrared, like a remote control. Originally, I wanted to do it with two circuit playgrounds. I wanted to have circuit playground on the Cricut, and I also wanted to use the circuit playground to control everything uh, because uh, circuit playground has an IR receiver and an IR LED on board, so they can talk to each other like that. Um, but what I found when I was doing that originally when I was testing, that the circuit playground, the IR to send, it wasn't quite powerful enough to reach um, the circuit playground on the Cricut board just because of the angles and everything. Uh, so what I ended up doing was changing the remote design a bit to use a Trinket M0, so I'm still coding in CircuitPython, and then I'm using um, a Seesaw board, which is kind of this little add-on processor that allows you to do a bunch of stuff uh, like analog control and everything all through SCL and SDA communication. So that's how it's connected up to the Trinket right here on the breadboard. Uh, and then I wanted to use an analog stick to control everything just because I thought it would kind of feel cool. Um, and I'm able to easily do the analog control with the Seesaw and the Trinket and CircuitPython. So that part is uh, really simple to code, just makes everything a lot easier. Uh, and then for the IR LEDs, I have this little kind of array here. Um, I used a jig that's available on Thingiverse, I'll link down below, by Mohit Boyt. Uh, you may have, you probably know who he is, even if you don't think you do. Uh, if you follow any electronics kind of blogs like Hackaday or even Adafruit at this point, like. You've probably seen his freeform circuits that are absolutely gorgeous, uh, just kind of floating around the internet. Uh, I don't really understand how he's able to do it so nice and neat and beautifully, but he's shared a bit of his magic with the LED uh, matrix jigs on Thingiverse. That's why I did use to solder this up. My freeform soldering is not as pretty as his, but it gets the job done. And I only soldered up seven of them, so it's kind of like a little, little LED flower. And I found with this amount of LEDs connected up, uh, I'm able to control the Cricut um, and the Circuit Playground at a decent distance uh, without worrying about interference or the signal just not reaching the Circuit Playground. So basically how the code is working is first I decoded uh, what the analog coordinates are with the joystick when I'm pointing forward or to the right, to the left, backwards, etc. And once I did that by using Moo to look in the serial monitor to see what the coordinates were, and then to send the IR signals, basically I'm putting up if the x-axis and y-axis are in a certain range. And I'm doing a range because it's analog, so there's going to be a range. You're never going to hit exactly like coordinate 609x 702y like that would be insanity uh, so i basically put a range for the two axes and then that will translate to an ir signal going out and then the code running on this board right here when it receives that ir signal it will go forward or it will go backwards or it'll stop and that's actually what i have coded in right now i have forwards backwards stop Eventually stop's going to be the button because this analog joystick uh, has a nice clicky button feature and I think that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, and I, I feel like this project is begging for a PCB. <laughs> uh, I, what I would do is I would just make it so that there were headers to plug in the seesaw board and the trinket. Uh, but then I'd use the footprint for this joystick that Adafruit has um, and throw it on there. 
and then I would do something. I haven't quite figured out yet what, but I would want it so that the LEDs are kind of mounted in the front, similar to how they are here, but not with wires. I'd want it to be maybe some surface mount pads that I could like have them solder to. I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but once I do, uh, I'll probably do a quick video on the circuit board design. Uh, and then once circuit board comes in, um, we'll have a fully functional robot. I also might add some NeoPixels to this. I think it'd be fun to put a NeoPixel like bar on the back and have it so that when it stops, it's like red. When it's going, it's like maybe rainbow swirl or something like that. Maybe have some like directionals on here when it's moving. I think that'd be pretty cool. And also the cricket board allows for NeoPixels to kind of plug in directly, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I had actually recently been thinking, like, I hadn't done a project in a while that had any coding, and I hadn't really been inspired to do a project that required coding either. Like, And I was kind of like, oh, it's weird, but that's not really like me. That's because <laughs> most of my projects involve that. Uh, but I had had this idea for a while and decided to try it out, and then I got, like, super sucked in. It's been really fun to work on, and I think because it's kind of it's like super just for fun, right? Like, what is the point of this robot? It just, it's a toy, basically. Uh, and it's been really refreshing to just work on something like that. Uh, it's been really relaxing and fun and yeah. But uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Later on, uh, like I said, I'll probably do a video on the circuit board design for this. Uh, I haven't, I still haven't decided on like the shape or anything, but I do kind of like with the breadboard being able to hold it like this. So maybe a design like this and I could do like a 3D printed kind of handle, maybe? Maybe? Yeah? I don't know, it's all up in the air, but I'll probably do a video on the PCB design for this and then once PCB de design comes in, I'll do a final project video showing everything in action. You'll get to see the robot roll around and everything and yeah, but that's probably gonna be like a month out because, you know, PCB fab and all that. So yeah, just a quick video on something I've been working on. Uh, if you liked it, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing more content like this, uh, specifically IR controlled robots and LED matrices and analog control sticks and Sam D9 controller boards and CircuitPython. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.